Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another Transformers review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please hit that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Also, make sure and visit my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks provides reproduction and upgrade decal sets for Transformer toys from Generation 1 to the latest modern figures. Make sure and stop by the ToyHacks Armory, where they can equip your figures with new weaponry in multiple colors, and Toy Stages provides backdrops for figure displays and photography. Each purchase with Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that can be used for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bot in this video is the brand new Transformers War for Cybertron Earthrise Target Exclusive Thrust. I pre-ordered this guy back in October and after multiple delays, he is finally in my hands. And I was really starting to worry because I was seeing all over Facebook that they were finding him in the stores, but my order kept getting delayed and delayed and delayed. And then finally I get that email that he is on the way. So I am so thrilled to have all of the Earthrise Seekers now in my collection. So taking a quick look at the packaging, you've got Thrust here in robot mode, Transformers, War for Cybertron, Earthrise, side of the box is some great art of Thrust flying into battle. Back of the package, you got Thrust in robot mode and jet mode, side of the package, the Earthrise artwork. So now, without further ado, Let's get this long-awaited seeker opened up out of this package, and let's check him out. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. Now, once you get Thrust all opened up and out of his packaging, you'll see he does come with a sheet of instructions. And just like all the modern instructions we've been getting lately, these are very well illustrated and very easy to follow. But Thrust here is the sixth Seeker mold that we've got in this line, so you're really not going to need these. Now, Thrust here is a repaint and retool of the Earthrise Seeker Elites Dirge and Ramjet. He has Ramjet's body... Pretty much the chest, the arms, and the head, and he has Dirge's lower legs. If you look right here, Dirge's lower legs, because they've added this little tail fin section to go attached right there. If you can see that, I was double checking, and yes, didn't really notice in my first video, but the legs are completely different on these two figures. So, Ramjet's body, Dirge's lower legs. And of course, he has brand new wings here on the back. And as I just shown, he has these brand new tail fins. Other than that, the exact same mold in the classic thrust black and red color scheme. And oh my goodness, does this look great. He looks fantastic. I love the black and red. Of course, it's broke up here with the purple knees with the yellow dots right there. Great face sculpt. And really good paint job there on the eyes. You got some paint up here on the pylons, the translucent chest area. I mean, the paint job looks great, but still, with all the molded details, he needs a little bit more. Now, articulation for him, he's exactly the same as all the other Seekers. The head can do a complete 360. It can look up and down. The arms can do a complete 360 as well. But, of course, they're going to hit the wings. Arms can go up. There is an elbow bend. No wrist rotation, but there is a bicep swivel. No waist rotation. Actually, nope. No waist rotation. There is a hip swivel. Legs can go, my goodness, tight joints. I love it. Legs can go in and out. 
back and forth, but this little hip skirt here will have to be moved out of the way. There is a knee bend and ankle rotation. So really good articulation for this figure. And I just think he looks great. I am so happy to have him completing my cone heads. I do like how the wings look on this figure. Very, very Generation 1 looking with the VTOL engines there. Really small Decepticon logo. And mine, it's a little loose. These wings are a little loose. I can't tell if that one's trying to pop off or not. I know my original trio of Seekers, the wings popped off so easy. There is some articulation with the wings, so you can kind of flare them back if you will, but I dig them looking just like that. So now let's take a look at Thrust in Vehicle Mode. Behold, Thrust's Jet Mode, and this Jet Mode looks amazing. I've always been a fan of Thrust's VTOL Jet. This thing looks awesome. I love the black and red color scheme. Looks really good with the canopy there. One complaint right off the bat is I wish the nose cone was black. There's a lot of red here. The original thrust had a black nose cone, but I'm sure maybe toy hacks or maybe a quick touch up with a Sharpie maybe can fix that up. Once again, lots of great details all over the figure. You see the Decepticon logos right there. Those could stand to be a little bigger as well. Maybe some big logos right there on the VTOL engines like Generation 1. But this is a great looking jet. Alas, no landing gear, just like the other Seekers. But that's no biggie. I display mine in robot mode. Now, transformation for the wings. I will show you this. The wing all itself is on a hinge where the other cone heads, their wings were separated. You had a little section right here. This pointed area was separate from the other wings. But of course, the other cone heads had their wings attached to their legs where thrust wings are attached to his um, torso. So other than that, no big difference. Now, the weapons underneath the jet, you could attach the weapons right here. But I've never really understood that, why you're going to attach a gun to a VTOL engine. It's going to suck it up. It's going to cause the plane to crash. I like to put my weapons right there. You got these holes on the vehicle's sides, which would be the robot's legs. And I really like how they look right there. They're flush against the plane, and I dig it. I like that look. So now for a quick Generation 1 comparison, here's the brand new Transformers Earthrise Thrust with his Generation 1 counterpart. And as you can see, the Earthrise Thrust does need a little bit of details on vehicle mode, especially the black nose cone. But man, what a great return of a Generation 1 classic. So I'm transforming Thrust back to robot mode from vehicle mode that I just shown in order to do the size comparison. And I got to look and I think I like the wings up a little higher like this, other than what the instruction shows. You see thrust here detailed with the wings flipped around. And I was actually double checking because I thought maybe I had him mistransform. But no, that's how they show him with the wings a little lower. But I, I dig this. I like how that looks. Got the big turbines kind of sticking up over his shoulders now. You don't have the articulation with the wings now. They kind of fold in. But I like this look, and I think that's what I'm going to stick with. So now, with all that being said, for some quick size comparison, let's compare the new Transformers War for Cybertron Thrust with Generation 1 Thrust, Transformers Classics Thrust. Now, this thrust has the wings up a little higher, too. So, like I said, I like that look. And with his fellow Earthrise Conehead Seekers, Dirge and Ramjet, both in robot mode and jet mode. And man, this trio looks fantastic. Now, wait a minute, right here. Both of these guys got the black nose cone. What the hell? Now, I would have had all six of my Earthrise Seekers for this shot, but unfortunately, I just don't have the space. 
The Transformers War for Cybertron Earthrise Thrust is another great use of the Seeker mold. It is so awesome to have all six of the Seekers in a new modern line. Of course, the only problem is most of them are damn exclusives. Now, I know Thrust is hitting targets right now. I'm seeing that all over my Facebook. As I said myself, I got mine thanks to a pre-order. So hopefully, if you're needing to get this guy, you can pick him up because he is highly recommended to complete the G1 Seekers for the Earthrise line. So there you go, guys. Transformers War for Cybertron Earthrise Thrust. So, does a Transformers War for Cybertron Earthrise target exclusive Thrust belong in your collection? Absolutely, especially if you have the other Seekers. And even if you don't, I hear he's hitting the shelves now, pick one up. You never know. Hasbro may re-release all these damn exclusives back on the market for people to have a second chance at finding some. I mean, they're doing it with Devastator, they're doing it with Omega Supreme, and they're doing it with Jetfire. And I believe, I just recently heard, Scorponox coming back around. So maybe there is hope after all, because this is a great figure and a welcome addition to my Generation 1 Earthrise Seekers. I love this mold, and I love these characters, and I couldn't be happier. Now, guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Also, if you're able to help out the channel, I offer channel memberships here on YouTube, and I have a Patreon page. And I'd like to give a big shout out to my newest channel member, Galvatronics. That's a pretty cool name, man, Galvatronics. Anyway, once again, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!